Well, hello, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be painting something totally uh, unique today. Yeah, we're going to be painting you know, alongside a T-square as you can see. Now we're getting into where we have to draw straight lines in order to form our architecture. So with that being told, we're going to dip our brush into some, uh, to some brown and black. And today, you know, colors are, you know, colors are today are black, brown, um, primarily blue, and titanium white. And you need those colors as well to paint along with me in order to do this exercise. So if you want to paint bridges, you got to find out where your vertical line is. And it's okay to use a reference image to paint along with your lesson. Touch anywhere you want on the canvas and you just find out where your horizon line is. And make sure you're designing in the rule of thirds now. Always keep that math term in the back of your head. It's always good to do. Okay, you're going to touch and you're going to go down the T-square. That's how you do a straight line. See how that line is straight? It's just like computer art, only you're using live tools. There you go. And if you want to get even you know, more you know, serious and straight, you just go and apply your blue. And then uh, you can uh, dip just like that. And you go down the line like this. And don't forget that the uh, bridges will get a lot more detail once you get uh, even with your design. Okay. Don't forget to add a little bit of water to that. And there you go, just make a straight line, add a little bit more water, and uh, you're good down there. Drawing bridges are a very nice, you know, complete exercise, and uh, they keep you focused, because that's what the most architecture guys do. And look at that! Look at that straight line. I hope you can see that better. Let's just zoom in and see what we can do here. Look at that. To top to bottom. Alright. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay. Back to the T-square. So we made our first straight line. And now... Uh, we clean our brush. And we can use this, but you gotta change your water every so often. See how that's dirty? We're gonna do that right now. And I'm over here using a sink just so you can see it. Alright, see now that's clean water right there. Yeah. <laughs> and now you take your T square again. And you place it uh, let's place it right here. But let's go ahead and line up. Let's dip our brush, uh, our Filbert uh, American Painter brush. See that? That's our brush that we're using for today. You can almost see that from here. Now, 
dip it in here, and you want to make a diagonal straight line. Find out where your perspective line is going to be, and just, excuse me, no ruler, just such. And then you draw the line right here. That's simple. Now we're not going to care about detail just yet. We're just going to lay in the basic you know, bridge structure that we already have right here. There you go. Okay, we're going to dip our brush into some brown paint again and uh, go into some blue. Now we're going to I mean, this bridge we're gonna we're doing for today is called the George Washington Bridge, and that's uh, and they love the uh, the uh, bronze gold paint on there so well. They thought it was the best color ever. Oh, and don't forget, always can add some water to that. I mean, we're working with acrylic paints here, so there's no need to be discouraged as to why your paint doesn't, shouldn't flow with like that. That's it, keep it steady and just take it down like this. But don't let it spread now, don't let it spread. Take it off. It's coming along. Let me go ahead and just take that off here. If you have to straighten them out, you do so. You want to make sure you get this perfectly straight as much as you want yourself. <laughs> That's the way bridges are, too. And there you go. See? Look at that. We're making progress, aren't we? <laughs> and then you should always take some of the paper towels. We're going to dry off our T square here in just a second. Like this. Take your spray bottle and you want to like have like a few squirts of water in it to that. Well, and we're just going to dry off our T square seam. Now we would dry off our the same thing on how we dry off our brushes. Go over here too. And I know it has a little bit of you know, paint stains on it before, but that's because I used a lot of look at that paint that's on there. Yep, and we're going to toss this out, and we're going to keep that for now. Okay, now let's go ahead back in here. 
you know, so we're just going to dip in our brush into some uh, fan deck brown into some primary blue right here. Okay, and you want to find out, you know, figure out where your other, you know, hopefully this is dry enough. We're just going to figure out where our next straight line is going to be held. So, what we're going to do is just going to... Uh, we want to keep perspective in mind here from the, you know, this is going to be a one point perspective because our vanishing point is right by where that, you know, one bridge is and you want the bridge to come towards you. And so we're going to continue to do that, but you got to indicate where your small line goes, you know, at second point. So we're going to keep this as straight as we can. Now we're not going to worry about making it too tall, we're just going to make it as small as we can here. Straight. It's okay if it goes in the water for a little bit. Okay, now we're just going to make sure it's small. We're going to do this again, right over here. Glad my mom's not yelling at me and make sure you know you don't want the brush to be too wet because then you'll lose you know contact with the perspective of mom.